Hello, how you guys doing? Um, my name is Dale Moano. I am a U.S. citizen and formerly a refugee from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, I call Manchester my home. I've been living here for the last 15 years. I'm here because uh, I'm concerned in the way that refugees, former refugees, because once they actually resettle here, they're not refugees anymore, are, are viewed by some of the leadership in Manchester. Uh, there's been comments and remarks from the mayor, and um, I'm here to address it because most of the time we hear negative narratives around refugees, but there's a lot of success stories. Um, most recently, two weeks ago, the union leader did an article on a student named Wenyan Gabriel, and um, he went from being 83 ranked to the 23rd um, best high school player to be recruited. All the top five schools were looking at him. And I'm not here to highlight his basketball success. He also was able to achieve that goal with high honors. My family and I fled the Democratic Republic of Congo not because we wanted to. We fled the Democratic Republic of Congo because of political issues. My family's life was in danger. My father was assassinated. And a result of that, my mother, who was 26 years old with four children, four children had nothing. But by the luck and chance of international world, we were able to get out of the Democratic Republic of Congo and move to a refugee camp. And when we moved to a refugee camp, it was a miracle. And we came to realize that in that refugee camp, there, there were refugees that had been living there for eight years, 10 years of their life. Luckily, my family, we only lived there for a year and a half, and we resettled here in New Hampshire. Our success, my family's success, it's not because of our hard work. It's also because of the people in Manchester opened their arms to us. Churches, community leaders, teachers. They fostered the inner will that we had of embracing the American freedom. And in result of that, I was able to do well in middle school. I struggled in high school in some of the courses. I was able to graduate from high school with six, six colleges wanting to accept me. I went to college. I studied political science, international relations, and modern European history. I double majored. I graduated at, age of, at the age of 20 years old with high honors. I went on to go to my MBA and graduated with strategic leadership with my MBA. I'm not here to boast about my success. If you walk out of Manchester, you would hear plenty of stories that represents the success of refugees. 30 seconds. But for some reason, there's a misrepresentation of refugees here in Manchester. And I, I just want to say, we need to continue to look at ways to support refugees because their stories can also transform the life that they have. And my last comment is only 1% of refugees get resettled. And today, there's 60, 68 million refugees. Thank you.